This is a follow-up video on my Glock 17 RMR video. This video shows the modifications I did to a Safari Land 6280 so the Glock 17 with X300 and RMR would fit. The first step with the modifications is to dismantle the holster. The second step is really to make a T-cut into the kydex of the holster. You can see where I marked out where I was going to cut with blue painter's tape. I just did this with a hacksaw. After the cut is made, the next step is to heat up the kydex of the holster. I used a paint stripper. I'm heating them up so I can bend them open and there's enough space for the RMR that's on the Glock to pass in. Once there's enough space for the RMR on the Glock to push into the holster, the next thing you do is heat the Kydex back up so you can form those tabs around the RMR. The last bit of forming that has to be done on the holster is for the face that's in front of the tabs that are split open. So that was more of a straight tube for the front sight to go down. That has to be opened up a little bit so the front sight doesn't knock into that every time you push the gun into the holster. Now that the kydex of the holster is formed to where it should be, now that huge gap has to be filled, so a piece of kydex has to be cut out to act as a filler. After the filler piece has been filed down and shaped, it's time to epoxy it to the holster. Once the filler has been epoxied to the holster, the next part is to really make the reinforcement plate. Before the reinforcement plate can be placed onto the holster and the filler piece, the filler piece and the extra epoxy and the holster have to be smoothed out. So it's have to be filed down. What will take the brunt of the force for the holster is really the reinforcement plate that I'm going to JB weld to the top of the holster. This is just a larger piece of kydex that is going to be JB welded onto both the filler and the existing kydex of the holster. Just like the filler piece of kydex, the reinforcement piece of kydex needs to be shaped and filed and fit to the holster.
before JB welding the reinforcement plate on, both surfaces have to be smoothed out and cleaned, uh, prepping the surfaces with isopropylene alcohol. To attach the two pieces of Kydex together, I'm using JB Weld. JB Weld is something you usually stay away from, but for Kydex, it's going to be stronger than the actual material, so it'll be fine. To ensure I have a really good bond between the two, I'm using a way larger amount of JB Weld than I have to. I'm also clamping the two together with a lot of force to make sure I don't have any pockets of air in between the two pieces. Because I'm using a clamp and I'm using excess amount of JB Weld, that means a lot of it's going to be pressed out, so I have to clean it up as I'm squeezing the two together. At this point the holster is pretty much done. The Glock fits in fine and the hood still works. I only wanted to put a piece of leather just in case something was rubbing against the Kydex. After using the holster I noticed this isn't really needed. There's nothing that's touching that very top part of filler Kydex, but I did it anyway. I'm just cutting out a small piece of leather and then using glue to attach the piece of leather to the back of the filler piece of Kydex. After this the remaining steps are just heating the holster slightly, make sure the Glock fits perfectly and slides in and out of the holster easy enough, and sanding down the edges of the holster. 